Okay, we are at HQ. Liz is going for a wee. You going for a wee, Liz? Is it a two? No? Okay. Um, Matt, hi Matt. Hello, again. How you doing? Yeah, not bad, thanks. How are you? Good. Um, if I'm honest, tensions between Matt and I have been building. So, um, for those that have been around for a while longer, Matt was in the 24-hour support crew. We've been racing each other all season, time trials, crits, etc. Culminating in today, the National 25 TT Champs. It is 3-1 to me so far this year. So the worst I can do is let Matt get another point. Are you point, so. racing? So I don't think you ever beat him in a crit. So. Uh, no, I'm not counting crit. Though, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we started... So yeah, earlier this week, I think so, earlier this week, getting each other's heads a bit by, we'd initially planned to come up the night before, hadn't we? Uh, I thought the event was on the Saturday, it's actually on the Sunday, and I thought we were starting in the morning, we were actually starting in the afternoon, so we were planning to like sleep in cars and stuff, then I was like, I'm booking a B&B, &B, like not telling Matt till the last minute, so that <laughs> I've got that, that edge of recovery, but then it's turned into both of us making romantic weekends of it and coming away, uh, and then Matt on Friday, two days before a big ride, what happened? I went to see Matt Batchel. Yeah. Um, and he's had a bit of a look over my position and uh, made some changes. So I'm really happy with all the changes, but I mean, it was the way, the way I did it, you know, two days before yeah. the Nationals. Yeah. Second ever 25, <laughs> and I haven't ridden it anywhere yet. Excellent. I'm so, confident in what he's done, though. I think it's going to make a big difference. Well, you need some confidence. Um, yeah, Matt is clinical in his approach and his preparation. So to see him having a bike fit two days before an event. Bit out of character, Matt. It's desperation, some might say. <laughs> no, uh, all jokes aside, I don't think the changes are that. I think they might. You might feel the significant, but they're in actual position. It feels like. Trying to make you feel better. Easier to hold the position and hold in a better position. So Good. I mean, should, should all be positive. Okay, wicked. And Matt has also got an NRG chain. Nice one. Um, so headwind out, tailwind back. What's the plan, Matt? Uh, try and keep living it. Same thing. It's always really. Isn't it? Trying to go out too hard. Go okay. Tailwind. Just Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably going to start biting at the moment. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to fully commit from the start. I'm going to go for it. So we'll see how the different strategies go. <laughs> okay. So current scenes. We've got about 40 minutes till the start for me. It's absolutely tinkling it down. You're right, Liz. Mm -hmm. Just tired, aren't you? <laughs> what a warm up. Okay, hopefully this is a passing shower, and then I can get some sort of warm up done. But who knows. Okay, you ready to rock and roll? Just spoken to Jordan. Thanks for saying hi, Jordan. He's also told me that he was second this morning in the junior race, so well done. Uh, more importantly, though, give him some top secret course tips which I've tried to not give to Matt. Basically, the wind is strong, so it's a headwind out, tailwind back. So I'm gonna commit to the turn, I think. Give it give it the full beans on the way out and see what happens, I think. Anyway, I need to get going now, so I'll see you on the other side. Well done. Come on, Matt! Well done! How was that? Not great for this. Come on, I don't even need to look. I know you've got me. 55.05 ish. Oh, you're very close then. Oh, well done. Right. Behind me. It was so hard for the turn, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, closer than I thought. But mine is, I might have gone a quicker time, but mine's pending some sort of inquiry, I think. I don't know. What does it mean when the marshal shouts, I've got a chip for you? Am I in trouble? And he had got, a bit of an issue at yeah, the roundabout. And then I got hit by a car at the roundabout. And uh, I was going to nip through and he yeah. shouted stop, so I hit the brakes and slid. Yeah. And then when I went back round the other side, yeah. he was waving a piece of paper at and I've got a chip. But I wasn't stopping, I was like, he's going to dick you, he's dick in the ear. Well, he's supposed to obey the marshal, which he did. Well, he didn't say stop. Yeah. He said stop for the car, but he didn't say stop. Yeah. And the thing is, there's no, there's no penalties. You don't get a stop and go ten seconds. <laughs> well, that's what it would have been if he'd stopped to get his yeah. piece of paper. Yeah. I'll go and ask him. Yeah. I um, I don't know where I I went out pretty hard, but when we got to the, the hill and with a headwind where I should have been lifted it, I just just faded. I think it was mentally or physically. I was just thinking, oh, you don't feel good. And then it well, just going out that way. Yeah, because then when I turned back, my power was better with the tailwind because you're going faster. Yeah. I think because you, I don't know, feel better about it. Going I mean, out, it's such a slog. Yeah. That, that, that yeah. Was, yeah. Was, it wasn't even a climb, was it? It was an in, it was an yeah. climb. That's good. You deserve that. I, I normalised three fifteen. So then I get that's, that's more than I thought. I felt like I can't go through. But... Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? She's on your own for so long. You just get your own mind to battle. I think it's been a tough day conditions-wise though because yeah. of that wind, hasn't it? Yeah. 
it was blowing me around a bit. I thought like yeah. I was getting moved a bit. Yeah. That makes me feel better knowing that, okay, you beat me by 30 odd seconds, but you've ridden a bit more power than me. Like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas if you are if you are the same power and you're slower, you're sort of like scratching your head a bit as to okay, what can I do? Whereas yeah. that's quite simple. You need to pedal harder. Yeah. Hello, buddy. Have a good ride. Cheers. Yeah. Good yeah. Well, we were very lucky with the weather. Look at this. Up, 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 up. I'm gonna go and watch the fast lads in a minute, but let's check in with this first. Hello, support crew. How's your day going? Is this the best day of your life? Best day of my life. <laughs> I'm going to go and stand over there. Are you coming? No. <laughs> See you in a minute. Bye, here, All right, bye. Bye. Okay, so I've just come out to spectate and uh, a gentleman called Ashley Cox rides for Team Bottle. Very, very good rider. One of the last ones to go off. Has pulled a pin after a couple of miles because he says it's just so dangerous. The visibility is poor. Uh, a car squeezed past him in the bad weather. Constant traffic. He was just a bit like, I uh, doesn't want to do it. It's just a single lane uh, carriageway that I'm to ride. And my ride, it was okay. It was a nice ride, but of course the weather makes you a bit, a bit more concerned about cars touching you and stuff, doesn't it? Here we go, is the rider coming now? I, I wonder that they're going to stop the race, to be honest, but they, um, it's continuing apparently. Go on, push, push, push! Push, push, push! Go on, on. Go on, push, push, push! Go on, John! Okay, so whilst we are sat in Weatherby Services, Liz just scoffing some chips and a sandwich. Watch your fingers, won't you? I wouldn't go as far as scoffing, <laughs> slowly pecking away at it. She's absolutely wolfing it down, honestly. I thought you inhaled it. <clears throat> no, she's obviously not fully better yet. I'll just start to do the outro and talk about a ride in a bit more detail. Uh, firstly, well done to anybody who took part in the, in the race today. I know the juniors and the women raced this morning. Uh, I've looked at various results and a lot of people in the juniors and the women have also beat me, but there you go. Uh, so I rode 55.06. Uh, which is 27.2 or 27.3 miles an hour normalized power 315 watts uh, average heart rate 159 which is about a threshold for me so it's pretty much like a, a threshold ride uh, i don't want it to come across like i'm being down about it just for the sake of being down about it genuinely i'm about 10 watts down on a, my previous 25 uh, mile P pb power and i've done 340 for an hour in tt position last winter and i feel like i've done a lot more training since then but clearly not so anyway i know i probably got a bit of residual fatigue in the legs from outlaw perhaps but not the end of the world i did what i could was happy with the ride i delivered um matt bagshaw put 26 seconds into me that's quite solid uh, i do want to look at the strava segments later on i'm pretty sure there was about a four kilometer long drag excuse me about one or two percent i'm pretty sure he would, he would have took the time up there I just didn't have it in me to lift anything, but it is what it is. Uh, it's good to toe the line against the best in the country. So the event was won by John Archibald in 45 minutes, 40 something. That's absolutely crackers. It's like 32 miles an hour or something. But watching those guys ride, it just reiterates how good you can be in position. So like when I put the clips on earlier of the, of the top guys coming through, they're so drilled, they're absolutely pinned. They're, you know, they're still looking forward and stuff, but they're so narrow, so low uh, and putting out so much power. So it's all down, to, all down to training, isn't it? And position, doesn't matter how good you are, does it? You can get in the best position ever just by training it and, and working on the flexibility, working on the strength condition, all that sort of stuff. So that's definitely a focus for me that this, uh, this winter. Not that my position's bad, but of course there's always room for improvement, isn't there? Is that it for today's video, Liz? Mm -hmm. Good weekend on holiday? No. <laughs> it's been a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? It's been a bit bizarre, yeah. Mm. Oh dear. Okay. Spoiled by the weather and me being ill. Mm -hmm. Well, two things we cannot control. I cannot control you and I cannot control the weather. There <laughs> we go. We'll make up for it another time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's, it, that's it then. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. I think tomorrow I'm going to be analysing another time trial race, but the day after that is going to be quite a, quite a funny video, I think. So please do stick around and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Later.